everyone, welcome back to Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I'm so happy that you guys could be here with me today at the launch of my garden party. I've been planning this for so many months now, so I can't wait to take you guys along with me. The whole experience of party planning, everything from creating the decor to the tablescape and an over the top whimsical uh, floral design. So I can't wait to show you guys how everything all turned out. And if you guys haven't seen my last video, I'll link it down below for you. But it was all of the DIYs that we created for our garden party tablescape. So make sure you guys check that out as well if you want a little bit of behind the scenes on how I created some of these items. And make sure you also check out my Instagram page. It's the same handle, Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I share more uh, inspiration over there, everything to do with heart, family, and home. So I'd love to have you guys following me over there on Instagram as well. And if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for weekly inspiration, everything to do with heart, family, and home. I would absolutely love to have you guys a part of our fairy tale family. So without further ado, let's get into our garden party. <laughs> All right, so here's an overview of everything that we're going to be using for today's video. I wanted to give you guys kind of a, a look at how things are looking before we went and decorated. So this is the most amazing wooden arch that my husband actually made for me for this video. And we're planning on renting it out for weddings as well, which is super exciting. And then here, these are the chairs that we DIY'd in my last video. A couple of them were pieces that I picked off Marketplace, and then some of them were uh, thrifted finds that I've just upcycled and made them to look really vintage and kind of uh, worn in to kind of go with this really romantic garden party that we're going to be creating today. So we're going to go ahead and layer in some tablecloths. So this one here is a just a really big piece of burlap fabric with some lace around it and I'm going ahead and just playing that on the table and then uh, most of the decor that you'll be seeing is either from uh, Amazon or HomeSense or Home Goods if you're in the States. And this drapey piece of fabric is actually from the thrift store. And I'm just laying it down the middle of the table to look really fluid and organic. I love how romantic it is just having that kind of um, layered texture on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and add this gorgeous piece from a local garden center here. And then these are some gorgeous candlesticks that I picked up off of Amazon. I love the champagne gold color. They're going to match lots of different tablescapes for every single season. And I love the variety in the shapes as well. They're very whimsical and romantic just to bring in that rustic and glam feel. These beautiful books are uh, collectors find from Amazon as well. They had all the different kinds of books that came in the same print. You could get Charles Dickens. These ones are Jane Austen. They had a whole bunch of different varieties and I've been slowly collecting them. They're just beautiful books. They've got the gold foil on the pages and they're just super romantic. So I thought they'd be a nice little accent piece for the table. And now I'm just kind of going ahead and creating a little vignette just off to the side here with some uh, pieces that I've uh, picked up over the, the weeks here. Just some thrifted finds, this cute little fan and this adorable little vintage purse. And just kind of going ahead and layering those in just for a little bit of added uh, romantic effect. And then these are those coasters that we DIY'd in our last video. So I'm really excited to get to show you guys how to use everything that we created. And I'm loving how everything turned out. The colors were just so vibrant and they really gave off this beautiful wild garden party that I was going for. And these teacups are actually my mom. So she's collected these for years. A lot of them are over 100 years old. So I was super excited to be able to borrow these for today's video. They are so beautiful and they were just super special to have at this garden party. And 
And these beautiful goblets I actually got from my sister. She picked these up for me from the States. They're just a beautiful uh, light pink glass, really, really pretty and very romantic. And then these gorgeous chargers, those were an Amazon find. They're really sturdy plastic, so they're gonna hold up for years to come. And they just bring in such a romantic kind of regal feeling with this tablescape. And then these beautiful plates. I wanted to pick up some neutral dishes as well. That way I can kind of use these for other seasons. And then I can show you guys other tablescapes when we go into fall and Christmas. Something that would really go for lots of different seasons. So I love these cream dishes. They're really timeless and they still have a little bit of interest with the pretty scallop detailing around the edges. And I'm just going ahead and layering all of the plates. So we've got our charger on the bottom. Then you want to go in with your dinner plate and then your dessert plate on top. So these are some rustic napkin rings that I found off Amazon in a huge pack and I'm going ahead and adding in these white linen um, napkins just in the base here. And then on the top we're going ahead with a disposable napkin just for a little bit of added texture and I love the pop of color that these bring. And it's also kind of nice for your guests to have an extra napkin, you can never have too many. <laughs> And I'm just going ahead and layering them on top of each other, just really whimsical and pulling out the bottoms to make it really uh, fanned out and really full. And then here, these are those vintage letters that we made a couple of videos back. I just kind of added them in and around the table just to bring in that really old um, Downton Abbey kind of feel to it. So here's an overview of how our table is looking so far. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. I love all the different colors and textures. I love the vibe with the Marie Antoinette meets Downton Abbey. Very romantic and girly. This is definitely my style if you guys have been following me for a while. I love over the top whimsical feeling. So I hope you guys are absolutely loving this. It's been so much fun to put this together and just to have this for my friends and family. I'm so blessed and honored to have you guys here with me today. I absolutely love sharing my love of creativity and decorating DIY. So I hope you guys will take a moment to like and subscribe if you're enjoying today's video. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead with the super fun part of creating a really over the top floral centerpiece for our table here. 
I wanted something really grand, regal, very Marie Antoinette kind of vibe. So I've got some beautiful hydrangeas, two different types of eucalyptus, some baby's breath, and then a whole bunch of roses in kind of a mixed color story. I've got some cream, some off-white, some uh, rosier pink, some softer pinks, just to kind of bring in that really romantic, just beautiful garden feel. So the first step here is I'm just adding in some chicken wire to the base of the arrangement just to make sure that the stems stay super secure and nothing falls out of the vase. And I'm adding in the eucalyptus all the way around in a circle as kind of the base for the arrangement. I wanted this to be super full and over the top, very whimsical and romantic. So I'm adding in quite a bit of greenery here going all the way around to give it depth and dimension and to um, kind of ground the arrangement. And then the next step is you want to go ahead with your biggest florals first. So I'm adding in these gorgeous hydrangeas. They smelled so good and I love the vibrant pink color. And I'm spacing these out evenly around the base of the arrangement. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and add in our roses. So I've got a few different kinds of roses um, in different colors. So I'm going ahead and just adding those in where it looks like there needs a little bit of um, coverage. So taking all of the different colors and going around the whole arrangement to make sure that they're evenly spaced out. And I'm just loving how this is coming together. I've got some warmer pink, some creams, some cooler pinks, and I just love how it's kind of um, pulling together this really whimsical, romantic feel. And I just absolutely love having fresh flowers um, when you're having a party. And then now the next step is I'm going ahead with our second eucalyptus. I like these because they're a little bit of a different texture and it just kind of brings a little bit more interest to your arrangement. And then the last step would be to go ahead and add some baby's breath. So this is my favorite part. Um, it's a great filler to help cover any bald spots that you have. It makes it look very whimsical. And I'm just loving how this is coming together. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make a little food table. So we quickly realized that the food was definitely not going to fit on our main table because we had so much other stuff on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep all of the food uh, separate just right over here. It was actually quite nice to have it together. And I'm going ahead and just putting on a really pretty Amazon tablecloth and some nice dishes. Everything I've been collecting for years, most of them are home sense finds from here in Canada. A couple thrifted pieces and I'm just going ahead and laying them out on the table. I find that HomeSense has such a great value for their dishes. They're really, really affordable and they have such nice pieces. So I've been collecting these for years and I absolutely love them. And here's a look at how the food turned out. It was so much fun and so yummy. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. And you can see those cute little food signs and those meatballs there, which we made in our last video. And then over here is where we have all of our drinks. So we had our tea and our water and a little bit of champagne and some DIY ice cubes that I added some florals into. So here's how the archway is turning out. It is so beautiful. My husband ran some vines along it just to make it look really old and kind of like secret garden. And then we had some ivy growing around the side of our house. So he added that as well. And I think it just made such a statement and it's just absolutely so beautiful. <laughs> 
So now I'm just adding in a little bit of decor off to the side here. I wanted this space to be really cozy, kind of enclosed, very secret gardens. So I wanted to make sure that the whole place just had this really cozy, warm, feminine feel. So I'm adding in some vintage books, some beautiful candlesticks that I found on Marketplace, and then some more of my mom's amazing teacups, just adding those to the top of the books here. I just wanted it to be really pretty and feminine and just have a really nice accent piece off to the side here. And then here you can see that cute little chair on the bottom. That's a DIY from one of our last videos. So here's how our little arrangement is looking so far. I just love this really whimsical feeling with the teacups and all the old books and those vintage letters again from our one of our last videos and then some more candles as well. So once we were done eating, I brought out the dessert. So I've got some gorgeous chocolate covered strawberries and I made my first three layered cake, which I was super excited about. And then I added in some of those fresh florals to the top. And then you can see those cute little food signs, which we made in our last video as well. And then some more beautiful hydrangeas as well. I just love fresh flowers. They smell so good and they just bring such a warm, happy feeling to any party. So I highly suggest having some beautiful flowers. A lot of these we picked from the side of the road or our garden. So I'm just happy to use everything that we already had. It was super exciting. And then over here, I went ahead and just kind of um, trimmed out the aisle with some more flowers, everything from our garden, some beautiful pictures and some really old uh, fabric. I really wanted this little place to feel nice and enclosed, very intimate and warm. And here you can see the beautiful archway. My husband um, hung those teacups for me and it just added the perfect touch of whimsy that we needed. We had some beautiful ivy going around the arch and then those teacups, which you'll see a little bit later. So I love how that turned out. It was such a statement. And here's how the table is looking with the floral and all of the decor, our plates, all of the DIYs we created, those chairs which we made. I'm just loving how this turned out. It was so exciting and I hope you guys love it. <laughs> So let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of today's video was. I had so much fun putting this together for you guys. It was such a special event for our family and friends and I had so much fun doing this. So I would love to hear from you guys down below. And if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's the same handle at Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I share shorter videos over there, more inspiration, everything to do with heart, family, and home. I would love to have you guys a part of our fairy tale family. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and check out our Instagram page. And make sure you stay tuned for future videos, more party planning, more decor, DIYs. I would love to have you guys here. It's been so much fun sharing all of my decor and love for DIYs with you. So there's more to come. So I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for stopping by today.